what I'd like to say to people that are struggling around sales is that a lot of it has to do with how you hold the question of sales. And I just want to propose a few ways to reframe that. And the first one is uh, moving from selling to serving, from selling to serving. Because if we think of ourselves as selling, there's a part of us that um, is pretty likely to be resistant because of all the what's embedded in the word selling. Again, the the um, the general perception, as, as I'm talking about in the video about business um, in the new paradigm, the general perception is that salespeople or sales are um, there's. There's part of it, the notion that the person who's selling is um, trying to manipulate or trick the other or just thinking about themselves. And if you are thinking that you're selling and this is part of what the word means for you, well, very simple. You don't want to be that person. You, you don't want to be that person who takes advantage of, other, of others. And this might well be uh, not very conscious, but it operates for many people. So when you start thinking that you, you are serving as opposed to selling, it brings a total different uh, energy. For myself, I don't have sales conversations. Um, I have serve conversations. Um, and I'm not closing a sale. I'm opening a relationship. So that's, that's another way to look at it as well. And my only goal when I talk to someone who's interested in my services is to think, how can I contribute to that person? We invested the time and energy to hear what I have to share. The other um, way, reframe that I think is really important is move from convincing to looking for a match. So in, in my paradigm around sales, there's, there's nothing of convincing or tricking or anything like that. Like it's, it's uh, all about integrity and being honest and share what is it that I'm doing? What is it that I'm passionate about? And I'm looking for a fit. I'm looking for someone who might be interested in what I have to offer. And actually in my paradigm, it's, uh, it's it goes both ways. Uh, I'm checking myself if I want to work with the person. And the person is checking if they want to work with me. So as simple as that, we're looking for a match. One principle that is very important to me in, related to that, in relation to that is the principle of sufficiency. Um, that's a little bit complex. I'll try to be as clear as possible. What do I mean by that? I mean that when I approach a sales conversation, I can be at the same time completely passionate about what I have to offer, uh, completely uh, hoping that uh, our conversation can, could, turn, could turn into uh, a match where the person I'm talking to becomes a happy paying customer. So that's one, one thing. And at the same time, completely not attached to have that person, be, that person become a customer. So that non-attachment is, is what brings me the possibility to be bold, to be, to be strong, to really talk about what's important for me and listen to the other and really look at what's, uh, what could be the best uh, uh, way to work with them, what could be the best contribution to them because I'm not attached. So both really passionate about it and not attached at the same time. And uh, it might be a little bit confusing, but it's totally, totally doable. And that's the best um, uh, mindset that we could come from in this new, uh, in this business uh, for the new paradigm.